Hello there, Pickle. Welcome back to the NIMBY Rails. Uh, we're looking at Tepic. I, I had to read that off the screen. Uh, where are we uh, where we completed uh, a rather magnificent intercity line not so long ago, and uh, and it is paying off handsomely. Um, yeah, no, it's, it it is really paying. It's it's, it's paying off very nicely indeed. Um, in fact, everything's paying off. Very nicely indeed. I've got 2.7 billion, give or take, in the bank. Um, I, I think I've reached the point where it's got fun. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's fun, no matter what. There you go. Let's, let's cover that there. Uh, but it is it is particularly fun uh, once you don't have to hang around for ages to actually make some cash. I've prob I'm probably making enough right now uh, that I could build a new tram line every hour or two um and then an intercity if i were to to leave it running for a couple of hours so it's it's getting towards the point where where money is going to no longer be an object um anyway as you can see today wednesday we've made 28 million so far and the day is not yet done Yes, as it stands, the game is very much one about, oh, the day is now done and I've made 28 million. All right, okay, well, fair play. Um, yeah, no, as day, huh? You what? Yeah, look, as it stands, the game is very much one about watching numbers go up. And then when the numbers have gone up sufficiently, you can go get on with it. Uh, these people who are waiting too long and re being refunded and paying compensation and all of that kind of business, stuff them. Uh, no, not interested. Uh, there's only a certain amount of rebalancing you can do before it no longer makes any sense to be running a line in that area. Uh, you can you can tweak frequency, you can tweak pricing, makes very little difference once you get to uh, get to a certain point. The the big one is making sure that your pricing is uh, is acceptable. And then making sure that the spacing in between each service, I mean, this is Mexico City, uh, so, so it's a good example of, you'll see how, how the, uh, the trains I'm running are mostly equidistant uh, from one another. Makes a huge difference. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a bit of a bit of refund action going on, uh, but the refund rate is like one in, it's, it's like about 5%, something like that. And that's uh, the cost of doing business. And frankly, I'm fine with that. Um, going back a couple of days, Monday is always the peak day of the week uh, in terms of, uh, of profitability. 43 million on a Monday. Thank you very much. I'll take it. That's absolutely delightful. As we uh, as we scale that into a week-based uh, process, we're on 100 and 102 this week on a Wednesday. Last week, we did 169 in total, but we did pay 18 million back on the loan as well. So that's pleasing uh the previous week 190 yeah we're coming up on about 200 million a week solid uh monthly we're at 670 million this month fine i'll take it uh it, it's got to the point that i don't even need to leave it switched on overnight I, don't, I actually turn my computer off for the first time in a week uh yesterday yeah i'm one of those people that turn it off every night because uh the, the, the way I see it, you're going to do more wear and tear leaving it running than you will turning it off. At which point someone in the comments is going to say, well, actually, it doesn't use very much at all once you put it into slow, sleep mode. And I kind of go, I don't care. I've done that forever. That's what I'm going to carry on doing. The end. Um, right. OK, so this time around, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to cross the border. And the, the border is, uh, well, it's 17, 1800 uh, kilometers up to the north. Now, I'm not going to make you sit here watching me build the route. I've already built it. I haven't bought it, but I have built it. Uh, so we leave from... Uh, is this one? I, I thought we were further up. Is it further? Yeah, yeah here we go. Uh, we leave from Mazatlan, and uh, and we head up uh, this way. Oh, for some reason. Oh, no, no, I have got. I have built a second station. There you go. Here we go. We go up from Mazatlan. I'm not going to follow it all along at this uh, at this range because it gets uh it gets pretty long it's it's pretty long is this uh so there we go zoomed out to the extent that i can no longer actually build anything uh zoom out a bit further yeah it's, it's still going look and uh yeah yeah through the desert and uh yes nice through a bit more desert yes go some more desert yeah yeah brilliant are you going to kind of go oh look los angeles no 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 no, no, no. It's, no, it's not. It's not that Los Angeles. No, we're still in, still in Mexico at the moment. 
a uh, bit more bit more desert and then the proper desert oh we're nearly there um uh, then you've got guadalupe victoria uh, which is which is super there's a few places i should have I, sh I should have considered stopping along the way this not being one of them there's really not enough population there to warrant it uh but mexicali for certain uh is there's there is money to be made there so i might if i carry on with this in the future i might reroute to do a stop at, uh, at Mexicali along the way. Uh, but then we end up in San Diego. So if you have a look at the route overall, um, yeah, it's quite long. It, and it took a long time to put it in there. Uh, it does pretty much run at, uh, at max speed the entire distance. So it's going to be worth me spending um, uh, extra on the trains capable of 350 rather than 320. Uh, just to, uh, you know, rattle it along some. Um, yeah, so there we go. We're, we're just over the border in San Diego. And I decided the best place for it. I I even went, you know what? There's a lot going on in San Diego. I'm going to build a viaduct to get them in and out. It's, it's too far for them to go by tram. Uh, where have we... Uh, what views have we established along the way? Uh, the Perry Elementary School there. The San Diego School of Creative and Performing Arts. Nice. Penn Elementary School. If there's an elementary school, chances are you'll be able to wave Paradise Elementary there. Yeah, chances you'll be able to wave. Oh, we go straight over the top of the library, uh, Harbison Elementary. Yeah, and uh, and Knox Elementary to and Porter Elementary. Now, could just be me, but I reckon San Diego needs uh, a few more high schools. You've got all of these young whippersnappers kicking around, looking at the trains all day. Well, I mean, that's nice and all. Uh, but at some point, you are going to want to teach them uh, the, uh, uh, the, you know, a little bit more than that. Get some, get some secondary education on the go. Anyway, I decided the perfect place uh, for the station is going to be in the zoo. Uh, in fact, uh, right next to the baboons is where I'm going to go. Next to Roosevelt... Uh, sorry, Roosevelt, middle school Roosevelt. Yes, this is double O. Uh, o, you see, it sounds like ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll we'll go out by the baboons. Uh, we'll drive through the cheetah enclosure. The koalas can give us a look. Uh, we'll mow down a couple of giraffe. Um, and then uh, the penguins can just go, all right. And uh, and that'll be that'll be grand. Uh, also they've already got a they've already got a light railway here, so I thought I'd make their light railway a little bit heavier. You're welcome there. See, look, San Diego Miniature Railroad. I'm going to drive straight over the top with a full-size railroad. They'll be thrilled, I'm sure. You want to see how much this has cost? Yeah, all right, okay. I'll give you a moment to consider how much this might might actually cost me when I pull the trigger. Go on, have a moment. Have a, have a guess. Go on, how much do you think it's cost me to go this far? Uh, it is a lot, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. Right. Ready. Uh, it's uh, 2.2 billion is uh, is how much this would cost. Uh, now, I spent 200 million on my viaduct. Uh, and Well, I built a viaduct the other end as well. Um, okay. Fair play. I spent 219 million on overpasses. Flipping overpasses. And I've got 700 metres of tram up the other end. Now, I've got a little bit more to build uh, just to put the station in. That'll be fine. And uh, we'll uh, we'll go down here through the baboons. Uh, of course, the uh, the Baitler Eagle, or whatever the Battler, uh, it, it will be fine. They can fly, you see. So uh, so they they'll be absolutely peachy. Uh, they they won't care about. It. Oh, we're going through the kangaroo enclosure, you ripper. Uh, also, I want to go further up. We'll uh, we'll have this finishing assembly. All right, there you go. They'll have a pep rally or something going on every time that uh, uh, we rock up with another batch of passengers. Now, the only downside to this, of course, is that I'm going to need a tram line. Because uh, I, I... What's my catchment? 4,400. I'm not going to need a tram line. That is actually more catchment than I've got anywhere else. That's the, that's the high score. So that's good then. All right. Yeah. 250 metres of station. Uh, super duper. We're going to have to... Oh, I don't know. Can we go ground level out of the zoo? Uh, it's going to be fun to find out. Let's have a look. Yep. We can ground level it out of the zoo. And then uh, and then we'll just head over. Oh, hold on. We've got to build some bridges and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Let's go as far as there. 
yeah. Doesn't actually at this point it doesn't really matter what speed you do. I'm going to viaduct it as soon as it seems like it's necessary to do so. Because uh, uh, you know I'm I'm in for two point two billion. Might as well be in for two point three. Yeah. No, no, no. There, there, there comes a point where you just kind of go, oh, hang the expense, let's just get it right. Hold on, you've slowed that down. There you go, that's it. Nothing better than rocketing through the zoo at 350 kilometres an hour. That's what I've always said, um, and uh, and we'll continue to say so. No, hold on, hold on, wait for it. Go out a little bit further. Can we get a... Yeah, we can, 231. The speed's not that big a deal, I'll be honest, but it would be better not to have to slow down. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, there you go. 3.13 and uh, go over to about there. I think you've... You just just do it. All right, okay. There you go. Uh, right, okay. So 290... Uh, 2 billion, 293,000. Oh, that's expensive. Maybe I should give that more thought than... Uh, that I got. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. That's that built. And I've still got 400 million in the bank. You absolute... Joy monkey. Um, right. Smashing. Uh, all right. Okay. This is going to be uh, the uh, another transcom. Uh, right. Okay. Add some stash. Uh, we go south to north. Because for some reason I've set a precedent doing that. Uh, yep. 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 It's a flipping long way. I am going to need a lot of trains on here. I might not even go for the super expensive ones, you know. Yeah. Okay, all right, so we go from uh, Mazatlan down there, uh, zoom out, and zoom back in. And what we're going to find out here is, has anybody got any tolerance for what is going to be quite a lengthy journey? Um, it is uh, <laughs> it's 1.8 million metres, so it's uh, 1,868 kilometres. Seems, seems quite a bit, doesn't it? Let's estimate the travel time, shall we? Uh, I think we'll estimate at 300. And off we go. Six hours, 16 minutes on the train. Whoo! Okay. I think, uh, I think people might be inclined to, uh, you know, uh, take an aeroplane. Ah, no. Not if they end up at the Handryas Baboon B. Yes. Okay. All right. All right, base ticket price. Now, the maximum ticket I can stick in there is 999 quid, and I'm not doing that. No. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go that. Yeah, it's going to cost you a buck a kilometre. To which the Americans will go, what's a kilometre? And you're going to go, oh, it's, it's not as long as a mile. Or they'll go, oh, that's fine then. Uh, before being stung for 1,800 uh, uh, bucks out the other end. But, uh, you know... That's their fault for not learning metric. Um, right, trans, con, trans, uh, trans, con, con, yeah. Uh, Maz, at, lan, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, San Diego. Or San Diego. Uh, right, there you go. You can fill in the rest of that for yourself. Um, good, I'm going to buy a train. This is not going to pay off, you know. Oh, hush, it is. It's not. It's not. I've got a. I've got a hunch. I've got a sneaking suspicion. This is going to be significantly further than people are prepared to travel. Uh, right? Can I up the number of? No, you can't. Why give me a car twiddler when you uh, when you're not going to let me twiddle the cars? Now these are set. This is why I'm thinking of not using this train. These seventy two million a pop. Right? Uh, against half as much for something that only goes thirty kilometers an hour slower and carries more passengers. Yeah. No. You've cheaped out everywhere. Go expensive. Yes, boss. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. That's totally the livery we want. Yeah. Uh, base colour of electric green. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe a different electric would work well. What about electric blue? That's not electric blue. That's kind of a... That's, that's, it's nice, though. It is quite tasteful. Um, yeah, all right. I'll have... Uh, oh, I can afford four. Let's have them. There you go. <sighs> yeah, I know. Um, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea? Yeah, just do one at a time. Okay. Yeah. Go on the Transcon Mazatlan San Diego. Go. All right. 
he's he's coming down the other we, we're gonna have to wait i'm gonna do some manual spacage right where's the where's the halfway point here all right look, look there he goes rolling he's he's gonna be rolling for a little while it, it has to be said uh it's gonna take him a while why are you only doing 299 the whole thing's configured to do 350 now some have said or suggested that it is because of the estimate that they refuse to go faster let's give it a go all right i don't think it is uh i'll be honest with you see look it's still only doing 300 here now the whole thing is 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 350 rated mind you we got 480 people waiting uh, sorry on board uh if ever this were going to pay off it's going to pay off large uh the only question is are they going to be prepared to pay the amount i'm asking them to pay out the other end also based on the distance gone uh if we were to build another stop around there i could do 500 600 700 a ticket and uh, and make significantly more money the only thing this has got going for it is i could probably put 20 30 trains on there and uh, absolutely rake it in. Uh, where are you deciding the midway point is then? Got to be getting close. Probably around here. Yeah. See, if this was a game with what we in the trade call graphics, uh, we'd quite merrily ride along. Uh, but all you get by riding along on this is, uh, you know, a slight sense of being a bit dizzy. So, uh, so I won't, uh, I won't do that. Where's the cursor gone? I own a cursor. It's there, look. All right, good. All right, deploy number two. All right, here you go. Have at it. All right, number two is now uh, in trans. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll wait for number one to arrive at this end and then deploy number three. Because setting some kind of maximum wait time period minute business, it's not, it's not going to work. No. No, it's not. It's just not. It's not going to work. Uh, this is a case of uh, sit there, soak it in, make it happen, ride it, cowboy. Um, that's that's what we're talking about. Now, I'm half expecting that on the return leg, which we, we still haven't finished the first leg yet, on the return leg, uh, that uh, Mazatlan is all of a sudden going to become the refund capital of the world, in which case I shall separate the train station from the tram station and the refunds will cease, or else. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's, that's the plan, such as plans exist. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, totally. Six and a half hours on a train with no stops. Flipping it, get a get after want it. Mind you, do people stay on planes for longer than that? That doesn't mean they enjoy it. No, I certainly don't. No, planes are rubbish. Yes, they are. Yes. They are. Yeah. They're unholy metal tubes of misery. Uh, yeah, okay, if you say so. Oh, don't get me wrong. Uh, when, when, the, when the YouTube millions start rolling in, as they surely will any day now, uh, I'm going to take biplane lessons. I want a biplane. Okay, number one is rolling in. There you go. I've got no idea how much it made, but I can look that up. Let's have a look. 896,000. Yeah, that'll do. Should have deployed another train. Oh, that's right, I'll do it now. There you go. Get to work. All right, so 900k uh, for a for a fully loaded trip. That's not nothing. Uh, also, I, I do believe we didn't get any refund requests there. No. And I'm taking some back the other way. That's nice. Uh, I think the running costs are possibly wrong. Uh, I don't think they are as well balanced as one might hope, um, but uh, but beyond that, I, I mean, it's it's okay. Uh, so here's the thing: if I can pack out one of these trains uh, and, uh, and maybe depart once every half hour, this could make absolutely gangbusters levels of cash. It's but it's the the challenge is packing out the trains. Now, if I were to to tram up in in San Diego. Uh, we'd be able to, to rattle in far more passengers. But, of course, you have to assume maybe the San Diegans aren't that bothered about going to Mazatlan. I mean, it's a it's a beautiful beachfront destination, for sure. Uh, but uh, but at the same time, I'm still not 100% sold on the fact, on, on there being much demand for such things. 
Right, let's queue that up and we'll, uh, we'll set this one in motion when these two cross paths. And then everything will be, uh, be groovalicious. Now, I am going to have to stick minimum wait times and all of that kind of business uh, in when I start cloning these up. And I can afford another two already, which I probably will do. And uh, off you go there, Tiger. Right, there we are. All four are underway. How very exciting. Uh, now, one of the one of the things I like watching, because uh, that's how I roll, is, uh, is I like to look at uh, how many people are actually on board. Yeah, you see, as, as expected, not a massive amount of people want to go from the baboon enclosure down to uh, Universo C at, uh, at Mazatlan. They're, they're not so thrilled about that, which is uh, it's a bit of a shame. It's a two and a half hour gap in between services. I mean, we're packing them in when it comes to uh, heading from Mexico north to the US. I mean, that's, that's working, that is. I mean, it's a bit of a commute because uh, obviously you'd want to go back south again uh, at the end of the day because, uh, uh, well, you just would. It's, it's got a beach. It's nice. It's not overcrowded. It's, uh, it's really rather pleasant. Um, but uh, no, yeah, beyond that, it's, uh, it's all good. Um, right, we had... We'll, we'll see how good my halfway guess was. It's wrong, obviously. Uh, 225 is what we were kind of hoping for, and that's, that's not really happening. And it's going to be close to three hours, this one. Ah, it happens. Um, right, I am going to... Uh, I am going to double down on this train behaviour, though. Uh, oh, no, well, I'll, I'll, ah, hmm. I'll do it, though. Once I've set some uh, some min weights, and because uh, otherwise this is all going to go mi minimum interval minute seconds. Yeah, that's that's not going to work. Uh, we'll try for uh, for two hours, so that's 120 minutes. Nope, can't do it. Okay, 60 minutes then. Nope. Okay, 59 minutes and 59 seconds then. Yeah, you see, I think people are going to get a little bit jarred off with having to wait that long. Could just be me, but I think that I think that's the thing that's that's quite likely to happen. Um, it's, uh, it's all right. It's it's okay. How are we actually getting on here? Uh, yeah, two passengers on board. That's that's this one. Managed to get two whole passengers. Mind you, it is quite late in the day. We're we're beyond peak now. The the only problem with the spacing that I've got as is is that uh, peak can come and go while the train's still in transit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. That's, that's okay. Yeah, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. So where would we go next? If I were continuing, uh, what, would the, uh, what would the continuation of this route be? I am going to buy a couple more trains. Let's put the, uh, the minimum interval time to an hour uh, and, then, and then clone up another train and then give it a minute and clone another one as well. Actually, who's close to the station? Anyone coming in about now? Yeah, one just left. All right, okay. Well, in which case, now's a time, to, good time to clone. Go. Uh, steady on. I don't need four of them. No, no, we just just one will do. Purchase. All right, and then he'll have a bit of a wait on his hands. There you go. So he's got. He's still got twenty minutes to wait. Yeah. I don't, forgive me, I'm just going to do a little bit of spacing while I get these set up, and then we'll, then we'll pontificate about what route might be a fun one to take. Yeah. Go on, go on, go on. There you are. Off your trundle. One more. Go. All right. All right, we'll come back and revisit this later on, see how it's getting on. But, uh, right, so we've, we've made it as far as San Diego. The next bit's going to be expensive, no matter which way you cut it. Uh, I, I mean, I've set it to go straight up here. I think we continue the elevated station that we have started to establish and uh, and pile through. Oh, I don't know exactly how many uh, elementary schools we're going to drive through, but let's say all of them. Uh, then you've got uh, Montgomery Field, uh, and, and then you've got a nice open bit. That's good. We could go through the Design Institute of San Diego and go, train, look, that's designed. But then you're into the sprawling, heaving mass that is Southern California, and everything becomes horrendously expensive, uh, particularly if I have any kind of aspiration vis-a-vis -vis getting to Los Angeles, which, I'll be honest, probably not. 
I'd probably swerve out this way into the hills. And uh, and then where? Okay, so if we want to continue north, uh, Phoenix is off the agenda. I think we go to Vegas. Vegas could work. Now, do we want to stay west coast the entire time? I mean, that feels a little bit, you know, off. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know who you would. Uh, hold on, where's the Grand Canyon? Is this it? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's a canyon. Looks quite grand. It could be that. It's it's in this area somewhere. I reckon it's that. You know, I reckon that's. I reckon. I, I, I reckon it's somewhere. Okay. Anyway, we could we could seek out the Grand Canyon and go up in the middle of it, which would be quite good fun. Grand Junction. Oh goodness me! The number of times I've built train lines into Grand Junction in flipping railroad tycoon. Um, yeah, you just kind of go Grand Junction. That sounds great. I've no idea where it is. Um, yeah, no, I think we go up here to Vegas, and then you've got a real easy run through uh, a miserable hellscape. We could go to Ely. Nice cathedral at Ely. Um, yes, different Ely. Oh, yes, of course, because there, there's no such thing as an original name. Um, uh, we go to Boise. Yes, or Boise, as it should be pronounced. Uh, yeah, okay, all right. We go we go Vegas, I may, or or do we go Salt Lake City? Uh, and then uh, oh, we're out into Montana. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, you could hit. You could actually get. To, you could actually get to Regina relatively quick. I say relatively quickly. It's flipping miles. Um, yeah, I think you don't. I think you you're going to need something in between Vegas and Salt Lake if you decide to go that way. So, uh, so maybe you go Cedar City. Is that a noteworthy establishment? No. Okay, okay, it's it's not then. How grand is Grand Junction? Oh, you know, it's got it's got almost some people living there. It does have some people living there, but I think that's that's swinging us uh, far too far over the uh, over the the Rockies, or in a Rocky Wood direction. Um, uh, yeah, because I mean, if we're talking about hitting Alaska at some point, then you you are going to have to stay west coast. But we could we could swing out maybe as far as like Minneapolis, Minnesota, Chicago, somewhere like that. That would be fun, um, and uh, and then wang it back up the other way. Although any excuse to go to Thunder Bay is going to be worth having. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go through some Arctic tundra. Yes, in which case we don't want Anchorage as our final stop. We want uh, right up the top here. What you got for me? I want Ice Road Railways. Is there anything out here? Just lots and lots of oil. Uh, yeah, lots of oil. Yeah. What, where? I must be missing something. You're not missing anything. There, there really isn't anything in Alaska. Oh, okay. Just that crazy woman who can see her house, uh, who can see Russia from her front step or whatever it is. Um, okay, yeah. So yeah, yeah. No, so you, you end up over here, right? Now let's go. Uh, let's go south of the border again. I've actually, I've actually built a respectable amount here, but I mean, you only have to go like, cool. The world's quite big, isn't it? And you go, yeah, the world's quite big. Um, yeah, no. Yeah. All right, so we go, but down, down now. We're going south. Uh, we I probably head through the mountains here and head to the head, uh, head east, I think. Well, you're going to have to head east, but I mean, head for the, the east coast. Uh, you're going to want to stop around here somewhere. Uh, what are we looking at? Lots of places where my pronunciation is going to land me in hot water. Yeah. Also, there's not an awful lot going on. I think we might end up in uh, Las Chopas. Yep, that, that could work. Uh, before uh, before heading down to... I don't know. I know. I know I'm, I'm going to stop in Panama City. That's a, that's an uh, absolute certainty. Uh, but then you're, you're, you're into... Uh, you're in South America. You've got Bogota. Yeah, that's always good for a laugh. I'm only calling out places I know how to pronounce the name, obviously. Yeah, I've thought this through. Um, and uh, uh, Brasilia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Port Alegre. 
Yeah, Santiago. I should probably stop in Santiago. People will know why I should probably stop in Santiago. Incidentally, in the first episode of this, I said that we were going down as far as Peru. We're not going. It's good Chile. See, my geography would suddenly threw me a curveball. In it departed the building, going like, "No, mate, you're on your own. See how you get on." Uh, badly. That's how we got on. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, just sorry. I'm just checking my refunds for a moment. Uh, we're up to 40 odd. Yeah, we're still at about 5% refund. That's okay. The autonomous city of Buenos Aires. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Oh, that would be a great place to end up. Uh, and then uh, and then carry on. And then, of course, you want to run a train service that does the entire distance rather than all this point to point business that I've got going on. But, uh, but there you go. I mean, of course, the next the next project after that would be to uh, to cross over the straits here, and uh, and realise that the map doesn't wrap. So you'd you'd pretend and, and pick it up from uh, from over in uh, in Siberia, and uh, and then you do it all again, go down via Vietnam and uh, and go. Well, Australia's only a little bit of a hike. We'll, uh, we'll, you know, we'll go through the through the Philippines and all of that kind of business, and uh, and we'll we'll head down that way. We'll keep the uh, the island hops as, as small as possible before coming back out again. We'll just zigzag across the planet. There you go. Now imagine it is uh, five hundred episodes from now, and we've done all of that. Uh, you won't have experienced any gameplay you haven't already seen, uh, and that's uh, that's going to bring us to the end of the road. No, we're there. Let's see how many new lines doing. What's my spacing look like? Not perfect. It isn't perfect, no. Uh, you've got a gap of an hour at one end, because I've set it to be an hour gap. But look at the amount of stuff we've got going on here. That's jolly, jolly good. It really is jolly, jolly good. I mean, I could, I can, you know, we can run a few more trains on there. Um, yeah. Now, that's... Hold on, we, we, we were estimating... 350 that's that's not what we're doing i think we should be estimating uh 295 go on speak to me six hours 22 minutes on a train <laughs> uh, this train better have everything and it needs it needs to stop a few more places yeah although sleeper car that'd be all right go on and how much has it made uh, it made on its debut day 5.3 million, which already makes it one of the top three earners. Uh, it's up to 2.7 today, but it is a Saturday. All right, I'm gonna look. Okay, well, look, it hasn't done a full day yet, but let's let's see how it compares. All right, the bullseye 660, yeah, 536, yeah, 603, yeah, Mazatlan 300, 297, okay, Mexico City 4, uh, 450, nice. Uh, 1.2 million. Ah, oh, lovely. And 1.2 million again on the boat on both circle lines. That's marvellous. Uh, Puebla, 15k. It's okay. Puebla's uh, routes only exist to funnel passengers onto the Transcon. Uh, 120, 130, 185. Nice. 169. Yeah, that's acceptable. Uh, Tewakan, Tewakan, I suppose. Um, uh, Tewakana, I think, is probably it. Uh, seven. Again, only really exists to sling people on the Transcon. Uh, then seven again. Tepic, 200. Yeah, 200. Then we're into the Transcons. Is Mazatlan, San Diego, 5.3. Mexico, Guadalajara. Uh, Mexico City, Guadalajara, 13.7. But I am running an absolute ton of trains on that. Um, it is more established. Uh, how many is a ton? Seven. Yes. Any more than that, and they'll be too bunched up and you won't get enough passengers on board. So seven is about the right number. 26-minute turnaround. All right, okay, all right, yeah, fine. If I were to get the other route to a 26-minute turnaround, we'd make more money. Uh, then uh, Transcon Puebla to Mexico City did 5.7. Uh, Tehuacan Puebla did uh, 1.4. And... Uh, Tepic to Mazatlan did 7.6. So we're in, yeah, we're, we're kind of in line to be the most profitable. Well, actually, you, you can you can judge this now. If you've done 5.7 to there, that's done 6.2. You're not, you're not on the money. 2.6, yeah, half a million, and 2.9. There's a couple more trains. 
Well, ain't that always the way? I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. Thank you very much for watching this series. Uh, the game's out now. It's in early access, and it does need a little bit of a tweak here and there. But then it's an early access game. You would expect it to need a tweak here and there. Otherwise, they'll go, uh, no, it's finished. Can I go, oh, it's finished. Um, but as it stands, my recommendation would be, if you want to make some money... Uh, build yourself a nice intercity with some supporting tram lines at either end. If you want to have more fun, just build the tram lines uh, or replicate uh, that which exists in the real world, but you would do better. You won't make as much cash, so you will need to run it for a good shake in order to make any cash to uh, to expand further. Um, but you don't need my advice. No, why are you still here? Get out. Cheerio. So there you go, that's the NIMBY rails, all NIMBYed, all railed, all the time. And uh, I quite like it. It's, it's, it's alright, it's pretty good. I like it. No, it's not bad at all. Um, anyway, today's outro is a uh, is a sponsored effort. Uh, it comes from Matt, uh, who's, uh, who's requested uh, the old sponsored video action here. Um, and uh, he goes, greetings, Colonel. Uh, that's me. Uh, this is a birthday gift for my brother Aiden. His birthday is on January 30th. I don't know if I can request the outro for the video on that day. I didn't want to chance it. I went a day early just to be on the safe side. All right, because anything could come up that would mean that I'd miss it. So I went a day early just to, just to be on the safe side. He, he's turning 18. So I thought what would be nice would to have some Uncle Colonel Failure's Painted Wisdom Life, Life Wisdom trademark. Yeah, uh, uh, Alt 0153, release Alt. Jobs are good. Um, uh, any knowledge you've accumulated, that I just gave you a freebie there, uh, the, the, you've accumulated that you think would be useful for someone coming of age, uh, like moving out, surviving college, having a job, driving tips in the US. So I might have to flip the left and right. I in the US, that's eh, a tricky one. Uh, dating advice, etc. cetera. Oh, flipping that, you want the lot, do you? Uh, I figure you've been around the block a few times. Yeah. Uh, so you've probably got some nuggets of wisdom uh, than I could, more nuggets of wisdom uh, than I could personally offer, uh, certainly with more baritone wit. But I digress. Thanks in advance, Matt. Matt, love it. Absolutely. This is this is right up my street. Um, <coughs> if anything, you've po possibly asked too broad uh, a question there. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for the secret to happiness. Because because uh, that's a good one. That I mean, I could I could probably spin this out as a as an independent video, uh, but that would revol Im involve me having to write it first, rather than just spin off the top of my head, which is what I'm about to do. Hang on, I don't know what the secret to happiness is. That's a problem. All right, let's start with some basics. You're 18, right? The the world is your oyster. You've got a couple more years to go till you can drink, unless you move to the UK, in which case. You can drink, and in the UK, that's pretty much much what you're supposed to do, um, because uh, it's the only way you get through the uh, uh, through the constant gallows humour and uh, sarcasm and weather. Um, that's that's you, you've got to have a certain level of of, uh, of nihilism uh, in order to make it in the UK. But you're not in the UK; you're in the US, uh, where life is sunny, uh, where you are taught from a very young age that everything and anything is possible. Uh, where optimism is a natural characteristic, uh, even though it may be crushed underfoot uh, by the harsh reality of existence from time to time. Oh, this is supposed to be a pep talk. Um, all right, here you go. You go to university. Now then, you're, uh, being in the States, you are about to incur quite a lot of debt. Don't worry about it. It's the cheapest debt you'll ever incur. Uh, the, only, the only thing you need to be certain of there is that... Uh, you get something out of it. And uh, and the point of, of going to university is not necessarily coming away with a qualification. It's about learning how to think. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's learning how to, uh, to determine the difference between uh, a, a fallacy or, or something, a, a belief that you choose, actually, this is the one to do. It's about choosing. It's about, uh, about choosing which way your, your mind is going to operate. Um, uh, yeah, learning how to think is the most important thing that uh, a university or college education will give you. Obviously, if you're going to, if your brother stipulated college, you see, which means you might be going to do something vocational in nature, in which case you'll come out with some skills 
Skills are good. In fact, get some skills. Get get some skills. What you've got you've got time on your hands uh, while you're young, and it's something that you don't appreciate. Uh, you're about it doesn't come back again. You don't get time on your hands again until you're in your your mid forties, if not older. Uh, you've got a twenty year stretch coming up where uh, where your time is gradually going to evaporate, but all of a sudden the money starts happening. You start making a bit of money. But your but your time is 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 eaten, and it doesn't matter whether that's uh, that's work or commuting or uh, family or whatever it is. Uh, you time is is about to leave the building. Sorry about that. Good news, you've got a couple of years left of it yet. Make good use of it. Uh, make you'll make friendships that will last you forever and a day. Um, and, uh, and and you should you should explore the opportunity to make that happen say yes to things uh obviously you know don't say yes to all the things but uh say saying yes to things even when you think like i'm not sure if i'll like that or not how do you know until you've tried it go and try it and give it a go and see what happens and that could be you know going to a club going to watch nascar could be uh, uh could be spending a night in a tent could be any number of different things you won't know whether it's something that that you like or not until you've done it and a breadth of experience is irreplaceable uh, having experienced stuff is that's what makes you a, a richer person uh and uh, you know without needing a, a wallet stuffed full of, of of banknotes it just it just makes you experiencing stuff gives you stories to tell even if it's a really crap time it still gives you stories to tell uh you know you you know what's sensible and what isn't sensible. You know what's right and what isn't right. But, uh, but you know, this is a time to, to kind of learn stuff. Uh, if you don't know yourself, you don't, you're, you're, you're going to forever be uh, set on a path that was not yours to make, that was, that was not your own. Um, here's the other thing, is you're about to be right about everything all the time. Yeah, no, uh, 20 year olds, they know everything. They know absolutely, to speak to any 20 year old, they will say with absolute certainty that something is or isn't correct. Absolutely, 100%. I don't know is something that doesn't exist in the lexicon of a 20 year old. No, they, they know it all. They're brilliant. I was one. I'm not one anymore. No, I haven't been for a while now. Um, yeah, at the age of 20, you know absolutely everything. At the age of 30, you realise, hang on, I don't know everything, um, but I'm going to demonstrate really hard all the things I do know. At 40, you know what you do know, you know what you don't know, you don't really care uh, one way or the other anymore. Uh, at 50, well, I'm, I'm getting that. I've got a couple of years to go yet, but uh, at 50, I don't know. I haven't got a rule for that yet, but uh, it remains to be seen. Um Maybe you start forgetting the things you know and uh, and only care about a couple of things that you don't know and whatever. Um, don't know, I'm not there yet, but, uh, but I've got a couple of years on that one. But at, but at 20, you know absolutely everything. Try not to be too much of a dipstick. Um, that's that's always helpful. Uh, yeah, no, it's that, that, that's all good. Right, okay, so that, that's, that's kind of a general synopsis there. I've remembered what the secret to happiness is. The secret of happiness is quite simple, is, is paint a picture in your head of what my ideal life would be. Now, get away with get, get away from anything that involves a number, right? So, oh, if I had a million quid in the bank. Nah, forget it. A million quid doesn't in itself make you happy. What makes you happy about it is a freedom from worrying about having enough money. Um, that's, that's, where the, that's where the happiness comes from. Um, uh, the the more you earn, the more you end up spending, and uh, and it, it takes a certain amount of escape velocity to reach a point where you are earning more than you can spend. So just forget it. Uh, for the, for the most of your existence, you're always going to come up short a little bit here and there, or overspend a little bit here and there. At the end of the day, it's not worth worrying about. Uh, avoid taking on too many habits that have a cost associated with them. The, uh, the, the fewer of those you have, the better. I should know. I've had a few, and they're expensive. They're very expensive. They, they, leave, you, they leave you short on, on cash, flipping constantly. Um, don't worry about that. 
paint the picture of what is your what is your what is your ideal life look like and this this is a picture that will change but some of it will stay the same and uh the the, the more you 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 crystallize this image of of what your life should be uh the more you will find yourself drifting in that direction um and it won't be out of anything you're doing you make the right decisions in the moment at the moment you make that decision uh but uh but you will be swerving the path gently does it towards where you're going to end up and you don't have to be unhappy you're going to have periods where you're unhappy that's okay the, the the way to get out of that is a simple one is you, you draw a mental shopping list on the one hand what's still good on the other hand what's the what's the rubbish bit uh, just just count them all as equals deduct one from the other and decide to be happy uh, just kind of go actually i've got more in the happy column than the unhappy column all right stuff the unhappy column i'm happy all right fine it took me ages to work that out and it will take you a while to get to that point as well of, of, of establishing happiness versus unhappiness there will be bumps in the road there will be bumps where the the list of stuff that should make you happy doesn't really count because there's one thing in the unhappy column that really drags you down but remember the secret to life is to keep breathing um that's that's the only thing that really matters uh you have an infinite number of possibilities ahead of you you could you could conjure up any idea tomorrow morning and uh, and it take you off in a radical new direction that changes everything never give up there's no point in giving up there's it, it, it doesn't accomplish anything um uh, you, you've got a certain amount of breaths to give and then you're done and dusted right whether or not there is some fantastical afterlife for you to go on to afterwards doesn't really make any difference you get one shot at this bit do with it what you can um uh, have some fun try stuff out uh make mistakes learn from them don't make them again that's 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 really the important bit a mistake is not a bad thing as long as you don't do it again if you make the same mistake over and over again, it's possibly a moment of introspection there. Um, all right, dating advice. Dating advice. Be nice to people. That's that's really all there is to it. The the, the only thing that you can't uh, the, the, that you can't uh, undo is uh, hurting someone else. Just be nice to them uh that everybody responds to people who are pleasant who are nice to them uh people will dig you for being you uh they'll dig you more if you're nice uh they'll, they'll, they'll dig you less if you're a dipstick and frankly people who like dipsticks you want to give them a wide berth you want to you want to go like no, that's all right no you no you're you're mad um yeah no stay away from those people they might be nice to look at but let me tell you that uh, that once you've got crazy in your room you've got problems um yeah no never let crazy in the door given half a chance that, that unless you want to be a therapist of some description uh, and even then i wouldn't mix the business and the personal that's that's there's like codes of ethics and that kind of business that will uh, that will cover that as well no no av avoid the nutcases figure out if you're a nutcase magnet I'm a nutcase magnet, um, and uh, and have been have been all my life, uh, and and frequently, I don't spot it. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of things I didn't spot. I had I had women throwing at me, throwing themselves at me as a young man, and uh, I missed it pretty much every single time. I'd be going like, oh, she seems quite nice. I'm quite keen on her as well. And she's like, you know, just basically throwing herself at me. And I'm just going like, oh, what if? And you kind of go like, just open your eyes once in a while. Do pay attention. Listen to people. That's that's the secret to dating as well. Pay attention. Listen. Be interested. Uh, don't just wait for your turn to talk. Uh, and uh, And... You know, try and try and pick up on the less than subtle signals uh, that that someone that you're pursuing uh, will uh, will give off if they are a not interested or b interested. Don't don't uh, don't don't uh, don't uh, don't dive down the rabbit hole of of people who aren't interested. Um, 
Uh, you might think they're absolutely perfect and marvellous and what have you, but if they're not into you, then pff, what's the point? Move on. Cheer up. Go for someone who makes you laugh. Uh, if, they, if they make you laugh, and if you can have a conversation about a topic other than what happened today uh, that can go on for some time, that could be uh, interest in, in uh, popular culture of some kind or sports or, uh, uh, or, or politics or, or whatever you like. Someone with whom you can have a solid conversation about something that is not a conversation that is just empty uh is the right kind of person maybe they they end up being best buds with you great the best buds are, are, are fantastic to have around and uh so some will come some will go and uh, and you, you will there will be an ever churn of people coming in and out of your life um but they're the ones who who make experiences uh try and find people who make you better uh, who make you want to be better? Who make you uh, try and try and raise your game? Uh, there's a saying of if you're the smartest person in the room, find another room. Doesn't necessarily need to be the case, um, but find the people who allow you to become more than than you were when before you met them. That's that's all important, right? How am I get, how am I going? Uh, you're coming of age, yeah. You're moving out, moving out. Have fun with it. You're going to make some really bad choices. Your really bad choices. The bad choices you're about to make. Oh, it's great. Just don't make them twice. All right, make make bad choices once. Just just don't make them twice. That's that's all I'd say. Also, in the spirit of Fight Club, the things you own end up owning you. You don't need to buy much stuff. You generally don't. You don't need to buy much stuff at all. He says, surrounded by stuff. No, it means that any time I move now, I've got to find somewhere to put all my stuff. Uh, also, I could throw 90% of my stuff away and I wouldn't miss it. Um, you don't need stuff. Stuff is just, it's just, it's just stuff. Um, keep stuff that's important, stuff that you use. Uh, you know, people, are imp people are important. Um, keep people. Don't worry about stuff. Uh, driving tips. Okay, well, firstly, you're in America, so they basically give you a driver's license with a packet of cornflakes. Uh, the, the only thing I, I recall about the, the US driving test is, well, it's not even a test, assessment, license getting, is can you turn left? Congrats. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a steep offer. That one. Oh, dearie me. That's because you all drive automatics. It's basically like driving a go-kart. Uh, any clown can do that. Um, Oh, no, driving. Don't drink before you drive, right? Don't be under the influence of a substance before you drive. Um, it's a bad idea. Uh, you, know, you, you are driving, a you're basically running around in a lethal piece of machinery um, uh, that at a moment's notice uh, is going to kill you. And or worse, it will kill someone else and it will be your fault. You don't want that. No, no, that's the thing you don't want. You do, you, you don't want that. To, you don't want to drag that around. Assume that every other driver out there is trying to kill you. Now, this might be more pertinent to the UK. You have to assume that whoever that is in the car, two cars ahead, that is swerving around just a little bit there, is uh, is going to kill you unless you find a way to get past them and away. Don't engage in people who are trying to race you. No, because that. They're the nutcases we were to don't try and avoid crazy people. Um, try not to be a crazy person as well. I don't wake up in the morning and just kind of go, do I feel crazy? Oh, I think I possibly do. Uh, right, what else? Um, yeah, as far as driving is concerned, be careful, wear a seatbelt. Don't drive under the influence. I mean, yeah, okay, you get a ticket, but I mean, it's worse than that. You're not in full control. Uh, and uh, um, while uh, you're ending up in hospital yourself, firstly, that's the money gone, because you're American. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Socialised medicine, you know, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's there when you need it. And meanwhile, as a civilised society, uh, we should always look after everybody, not just ourselves. We should look after those who are incapable of looking after themselves. If you can look after other people, you should. Yeah. I believe there's there's a great many religious folk who, who kind of subscribe to that, but then you're going to go socialised medicine. No, thank you. 
no, 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 I'm not paying for Johnny Layabout there. Yeah, it's not Johnny Layabout. He's got no legs and he can't work. He's half blind. Uh, we should be paying for him to get medical treatment. He's one of us. We're a collective. We're in this together. We're a team. We're a, we're a species. We should be doing it on a planetary basis, but that's a different matter. Um, there you go. That's, that's some politics for you. Yeah, drink it in. Uh, flipping run for government. There you go. Make a difference with your life. Uh, look after the environment. Recycle. These are all good things. And it's not about living a boring life. It's not. It's not. It's not about. Ah, oh, that's, that's a bit dull. No, nah, be reckless. Be daft. Be be stupid. Uh, never miss out on an opportunity to laugh. Uh, laughter is the most important thing you can have ever. It's it's the single most important thing. Laughter. Um, and, uh, finding enjoyment is is all important. Just don't laugh at somebody else's expense unless they're laughing with you. This is that. This is what I do. See, look, people go like, "Oh, you got people laughing at you all the time." I go, "Not laughing at, laughing with." Uh, you know, me cocking stuff up and making a disaster out of things. I know I'm doing it. I don't. Part of the reason that I go in blind to these things is because I know I'm going to make mistakes and that people find that amusing. This is me offering myself up as a sacrificial, is something to chuckle at. Uh, but I'm having a very good time while I'm doing it as well. We're laughing with, we're not laughing at. Um, yeah, don't make anybody feel bad. Because ultimately that will make you feel bad. And ultimately the universe will come along and kick you in the plums when you've done something bad to people. So try not to do that. Uh, don't fall in love too soon. You will. Can't help it. Um, but uh, but kind of go like, how well suited am I to this person? How well suited are they to me? Uh, the, the amount you'll change between the age of 20 and the age of 30 is. But of course you'll be 20, so you know that you know everything already. It's a nightmare. It's a it's a landmine. It's a tripwire. It's uh, it's a it's a pit trap. It's it's all of the bad things that you could possibly imagine. There, um, yeah. Find people who get you, right? They've got to they've got to get you. They've got to want the same things you want. You've got to more importantly, you've got to want the same things they want. When arguing with them, we're back on relationships. When arguing with them, you should always be asking in the back of your head. Is it worth me being right? Okay. Okay. Because sometimes it's not about being right. It's about being able to get on with your day without whatever it is that you're fighting about dragging the entire thing into a pit. Uh, learn to get over it. Just learn, learn to be wrong. Right? And learn to let your other, your other significant be wrong as well let them correcting people all the time is tiresome i've been there i've done it it's because i'm an older brother you see it can't be helped yep yep it just it just it, it gets ingrained into you and uh oh my goodness me it winds everybody up so once in a while you've just got to kind of go ah, just let me be wrong it's okay it's, it's not doing any harm I know I'm right. I just don't need to tell anybody about it. It's as simple as that. Right. What else we got left? Uh, Etc. Have fun. Just you know, go and have, go and have a laugh. Uh, and recognise when there's an opportunity. Uh, recognise when the door's being kicked open and uh, uh, and say yes. Sometimes you'll say yes to something that was a really bad idea retrospectively, but you won't know that in advance. Um, uh, you, know, you want to, you want an equal balance of uh, of kind of uh, a, a conservative restraint and uh, and you know flamboyant uh, joie de vivre. Um, you you want a mix of the two uh, because otherwise you end up being a crazy. Uh, we don't we don't mix with the insane people. This is not a denigration of those with any mental health problems. Uh, this is simply the lingua franca uh, of, uh, of of referring to people who are, you know, who've allowed themselves to go a little bit too far, um, to, to be dragged too far in one direction. If you find yourself disagreeing violently with something that somebody else says, question why that is. Uh, who is it that taught you to have that disagreement in the first place? You'll have very few original ideas 
until you start building up a wealth of experience into which you can then formulate your own stuff, which is why the period of time that you're about to enter into is the time in which you learn to think. There you go. See, that was all off, off the cut. Co- off the cut. Co- I've got like five seconds. Happy birthday, Aiden, you lucky thing. Matt, thank you very much for your suggestion. I have been Colonel Failure. <laughs>